What's going on people? Drian here. Welcome to this episode of the weekly guitar meeting. I hope you are doing well and I'm very happy to introduce to you five very nice sounding guitars today. And before we start, uh, I want to talk about the strings, what we use on the guitars, because a lot of people ask us which kind of strings do we use. And we use the same set of strings on all the guitars in our shop because we think that it's also easier for our customers and also for ourselves to compare the gu guitars to each other if we have the same set of strings on the guitars. And we use the carbon strings by the company Knobloch. I think they work very, very good on all the guitars. And uh, also the other important thing is that they sound straight very open if we put them on the guitars and they don't need a few days to open up. I think I also think that they react very well to the vibratos on the guitars and uh, they sound very neutral. And just to show you which model we exactly use, it's the EDC 34.0 carbon strings. And it's the high sorry, medium high tension. So thanks to Knobloch for sending us this amazing strings. And let's start with the first guitar. The first guitar of this week is made by a very well-known Italian guitar luthier, Daniel Chiesa. And this guitar is brand new from 2023. It has a traditional construction. It has a five fan bracing and it has also, so this guitar has a shorter scale. It has a 64 centimeter scale. We have a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. It's a very light guitar, very fine build and simple and beautiful. gentle and charming sound it's it's very it's like a diamond what has been already polished and also the the palette of different colors is really big and that the balance of this guitar is really really good so it means that you have the full control over this guitar and not the guitar has the control over you wow smooth sound of this guitar it's amazing it's 
very pleasant to the ears. and congrats to Daniel Chiesa for this beautiful instrument. This guitar has a lot of strings. It's a 11 strings string guitar made by the Swedish guitar luthier Heike Rusu and it's brand new from 2023 and it has a number 432. So you can see that this guitar luthier has quite a lot of experience in making guitars and uh, this guitar is very light because I expected a much more heavier guitar but it's very light and we have a spruce top and maple and Madagascar rosewood back and sides it looks beautiful especially the maple I like I love the color wow and um, let's see what I can do Let's try. This guitar has such a long sustain. It's like a, it's like a pedal of a of a piano. It's just ringing without stopping. And um, I try to play a little bit more on this one because I'm not used to to play a guitar with eleven strings. And um, yeah, it's a little bit unusual for me. Okay, uh, first of all, if you, if you have a piece or if you arrange a piece for this guitar, it's a lot of fun because you have so many possibilities. And uh, I wanted to play the harmonics. Usually you would think it's the 12th fret, but it's not the 12th fret because it's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fret. So you have to play two frets higher. So you see, there is so much to discover on this guitar and you have a great sustain and also, of course, a lot of different colors. Because you have a spruce top and maple and they usually react very well to, to your playing and to your fingers. lovely guitar and uh, I would say let's move to the next one with six strings the next guitar is made by the Spanish guitar luthier from Granada Daniel Gil de Avalle and this guitar is brand new and this is the premium model it's from 2023 we have a spruce top and Madagascar rosewood back and sides 
and this is of course a traditionally built guitar with a fan bracing and it looks beautiful let's try the sound It has a very sweet sound. It's very Spanish and traditional. But at the same time also very powerful, I would say. So it has a great dynamic range. Wow, I love the trebles. Oh my god. It's a really good guitar. Because I think this is the first time that I'm playing a guitar by Daniel Gilda Abaye and it's a joy to play on this one Yeah, that's it. Great guitar, Spanish sound, but also very powerful with a great dynamic range. And let's move to the next one. We stay in Spain and we pay a visit to the workshop of Jose Ramirez III. This guitar is made in the workshop of Jose Ramirez and in his workshop they have uh, worked several guitar luthiers and this guitar um, you can see it you can see the signature in the guitar is made by Mariano Tezanos you can see the MT letters in the guitar and Mariano Tezanos was the luthier who built the Segovia guitar in 1968 and this guitar is from 67. It's beautiful. It's very light and it's a very nice guitar. And we have a cedar top and Brazilian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how the guitar sounds.
Wow, what a sound. It's just beautiful. It's very brilliant and but not sharp, not too harsh for the ears. This is such a joyful guitar to play just melodies on the trebles. Because it reacts so well, it has such a great response to your fingers and can create you can paint let me say it like this in this way you can paint the music I don't talk a lot, I just play a little bit more. You have to try this guitar if you have the opportunity. This is great. It's a great instrument. And let's move to the last guitar of this week. The last guitar of this week is made by the French guitar luthier Jean-Luc Joyer. And this guitar is from 2017. And it's in a very good condition. You have some very small and little playing marks on this guitar but uh, overall it's in a great condition and we have a cedar top and cocobolo back and sides and uh, the guitar is resonating very well also when i'm speaking so i would say just let's see how the guitar sounds <laughs> very interesting sound because this is it sounds very very soft and smooth it's 
like it sounds very buttery somehow not battery buttery butter like butter very smooth and soft with a lot of overtones and very good clarity also the basses are very good very deep and very responsive and powerful So if you are searching for a guitar with a very dark sound but at the same time clarity between the tones it's very important to separate these two things because the clarity between the notes is something different than the sound clarity because it doesn't sound clear it sounds very round and dark but the spaces between the notes are very clear. I think the most important thing or the most noticeable thing of this guitar is the play uh, playability because it's very easy to play and the smooth and dark sound. It sounds very nasal, very dark and um, so this is a characteristic of more modern guitars like, like lattice braced and double top guitars. Yeah. Also, let me know what, what, what is your opinion about the sound of this guitar. It's very interesting. Yeah. And uh, this was also the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. And uh, if the video helped you, please leave a like. We will be very happy about that. So have a nice weekend and see you next week.